So the first thing he starts with is, dear Christian, always appreciate who Jesus is and what he's done. And secondly then, he prays for them two things. One, that they would learn more about Jesus. He says, so I'm praying for you that you would, and here's how he says it actually. He says, um, that he would give you the spirit of wisdom, revelation, knowledge of him. He's saying, I want you to learn more about Jesus and I'm praying that you would learn more about Jesus. And, and let me say this, it doesn't matter how long you're a Christian, there's always something new to learn about Jesus. Amen. Absolutely true. I first picked up my first Bible, my father-in-law and my wife uh, as a gift gave it to me when I was in high school. I picked it up in college and I started learning about Jesus. I've been reading the scriptures now for a couple of decades and studying them intensely. And I can assure you of this, every week I learn new things. Let me submit to you, if you're a person who's still just quoting the same verses you've been quoting for years, going back to the same books you've been going back to for years, if you're still just echoing the things that you've known for a long time, that's not bad, but that's not enough. That's not enough. The goal is not just to have your questions answered and have your systematic theology completed, but to have your relationship with Jesus always growing. And so he prays for these people that they would learn more about Jesus. I pray that for you all the time. And these are people who had good teaching. I mean, you think of the pastors who resided in their city of Ephesus for at least a season, Paul, John, Luke. It's a pretty good team, right? All of a sudden guys show up and they're like, hey, turn to the book in the Bible that I wrote. You're like, wow, this is gonna be a pretty good sermon. I think that guy's interpretation is probably gonna be accurate, that guy right there. <laughs> this is the book that he wrote. So Paul, Timothy, John, and Luke all lived in Ephesus. They all taught in Ephesus. Uh, they wrote some from Ephesus. And what he says is, and there's so much more to learn about Jesus. There's always something more to learn about Jesus. I appreciate that you allow me to teach and preach at Mars Hill. I'm grateful that I have such great freedom to go through books of the Bible. We want you to study the scriptures for yourself. That's why we put together community group resources. This is why we want you to be in community group or women's study or redemption group. We always want you to be learning more about Jesus. And the second thing he prays for is not only that they would have more knowledge about Jesus, but they'd have a deeper experience of Jesus. He says it this way, what is his immeasurable greatness of his power toward us who believe? He's praying that, that, that not only would we know more about Jesus, but we'd experience more of Jesus. That his power would be something that we experience in our life. And this is what the Holy Spirit's ministry is to us, to take the the life of Jesus, to place it in us and to give us power to live a new life increasingly more and more and more and more like Jesus. And I would say that there's always something new to learn about Jesus and there's always something new to experience regarding Jesus. And the Holy Spirit has always got things he wants to teach you. He calls it revelation here. And there's experiences that he wants to send the Holy Spirit to give you power to learn from and to walk through. And, and, and let me say, for some of you, I, I worry because your, your thought is almost that Jesus ascended back into heaven and now you're on your own. He said, I won't leave you as orphans, I'll send you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit's gonna lead you and guide you and convict you and instruct you. And that's what Paul is echoing here, the words of Jesus saying, I'm praying that you would learn more about Jesus and that you'd experience more of his power through the Holy Spirit so that your life would continually change to be more like his. Marcel, I pray for this all the time for us and for you, as do the other leaders, that, that you would always learn something new about Jesus and you'd experience his power in a new way in your life. And I could tell you, having walked with the Lord Jesus now since I was 19 years of age, there's always something to learn and there's always ways to change and his power is always available to help us become who God wants us to be. I'm very, very, very encouraged. And as I've seen the Holy Spirit work in people's lives for years, I see them growing, I see them learning, I see them changing by the power of God. 
And again, what we should do then is we should give the glory to God, but the appreciation to them. Say, God is so good to you, and I'm so grateful that you have availed yourself to his instruction, that you have submitted yourself to the Holy Spirit. A lot happens when you know how much there is to appreciate in the Lord Jesus and how much he appreciates you. 